So I'm going to tell you exactly why the Ford Mustang GT might be the best sports car you can buy right now. And you might want to hurry because, well, we'll be soon be on to our last generation of Mustang where you can have a 5 liter V8. So it's supposed to be the last generation, the one that's coming out. So that'll last probably about five years. So by 2028 20, or so, there'll be no more 5 liter GTs in the Mustang. Now, really, you can start right off. The technology is fantastic. You can play around with the exhaust so it can go anywhere from quiet to quite loud. It is fantastic in the twisties. So we've had this vehicle and it is absolutely great. We just did some really bumpy roads and it's great on the bumpy roads, but in the bendies, it is absolutely fantastic. It's solid. And it's a vehicle you're not afraid to drive because of the price point. It's not just gonna be a garage bunny. It's not just gonna sit in that garage. You can actually afford to drive it. You can afford to do the maintenance on it because well, the maintenance is like taking care of, heck, any vehicle. Uh, it's like the same as a truck. <laughs> so there's nothing special in regards to maintenance. So you can have a whole lot of worry-free fun. And it's a go-anywhere vehicle because of that incredibly soft suspension. But when you do find a bendy road, well, that is where it absolutely shines. But this also shines as a daily driver. It's just great to drive over really all road conditions. Now, the convertible, most convertibles, you lose a bit of handling with it, but the convertible here, I loved it enough to buy it. 
uh, you know, broke broke the piggy bank to get it, and it was worth every nickel and dime. I'm having an absolute bad blast. Winston, so we are currently in 10th gear, going about 1300 RPM. One of the things I love about this 5 liter V8 is it just cruises along at a low RPM, and that means we are at puppy speed. <laughs> so Winston is just having a good time. He spent most of the time with his head out the window. And now I guess he's exhausted. You having fun? Yeah. <laughs> Winston, you having fun? So tired now. You like your Mustang ride? Yeah. Maggie, she loves it as well. You know, she wasn't as much of a fan. Uh, our recent two manual Mustangs were recent, and we've also had some older Mustangs. Every time I get manual, including the Toyota MR2. Uh, every manual you really get their neck neck jerkers and as a driver that's not so bad you know you've got the steering wheel to hold you in position but when you're a passenger in a neck jerker and it's a neck jerker because of all the torque these have about 420 pound feet of torque depending what model you get about 460 to 480 horsepower so yes the mustang is a, a, a neck jerker if you get manual it has an incredible amount of torque but boy i must say this is an incredibly fun 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 sports car to own and it's not so massive that i put it under the category of a muscle car it still feels like a sports car even though it's bigger than a two, let's say a two-door sorry two-door two-seater true sports car such as you know the true wording behind a sports car would be something like a Miata, a Porsche Spider. But this is just overall a great daily. You don't need to park it in the garage. You don't have to worry about putting the, some, some miles on it because of crazy expensive maintenance and repairs. This thing is reliable, it's powerful, and overall, in my opinion, this very, very well might be the best sports car you can possibly buy these days and you do need to get one while they're still being offered well who knows once in you know once the next model generation is over we're almost certainly getting an EV and it's gonna be incredibly powerful will it sound like this V8 just to show you what it sounds like on the downshifts hearing something like that. When we can't have a V8 in a Mustang anymore, got a little crackle and pop out the back, a little backfire, and that's no longer available. You can expect values on these to go up. So it's still a great time to get a used Mustang GT. Unlike a lot of sports cars these days, you look at a Corvette, you look at a Porsche, and you're looking at about $40,000 over original MSR, MSRP, sorry, over not original MSRP, current MSRP on a two-year-old vehicle, 40K over. That's what your used Corvette or Porsche is gonna cost you. You're not gonna be paying over the original window and on these Mustang GTs. So more reason to get one. The order delay times are Four to six months, very reasonable compared to a lot of sports cars these days. You're looking at, well, Corvette, Porsche, again, you're looking at over two years. So, highly recommend it. I'm having a blast. I hope you give it a try, at least a test drive, to find out if this is going to be your summer dream vehicle. And until next time, I do wish you all more cars and more power. And if it's your thing, I do hope you get to put the pedal to the metal like you did today. Take care and please like and subscribe so that these videos get out to more people and also so you don't miss out on upcoming content. Thank you so much for watching.